I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, kidding me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to search. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped welcome to cross zero dawn zero dawn we found it are you really so surprised Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the fairy if operate hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh plague. 
nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled wave half a century best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no birth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lie. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something will come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth's that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got... Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? A tomb? Let her die in here, far from sun and light. I know you're there. I can smell you.
Get over here! He's coming! always said, patience. Am I done?
eyes on him. Let this strike up on for safety. understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain, trying to thank resisting. Negotiate. Always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings change, the but the intent. robots were the Data same. Intent. You have had considerable experience in here. Bad news. And it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind from which life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. Devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia, Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction abilities to hold it all, and that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even how Gaia will generate those deactivation codes Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from crived seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tireless but nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. The whole Earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this. 
a life for us. Why Hades, then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in wreckage of a feral robot? Why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the Archive of Knowledge... I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Can't be too prepared. Get her! Whatever you do, don't die. down. Is there another run? Done this before. Jessos. Jamelia Bright. Got too much already.
Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the... There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Hey! I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to you emitter, not out. Found one. Looks intact. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open.
that did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Lines look. Aya. Second. It. So much. The girl striking her sinful. moment anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. Hello, 
I'm Argo Shen. This is Hephaestus. As I tip you off, this is going to be guy we'll use to robots. Her it's not that simple. Um, so, like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual sticks, that stuff. Well, it's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of out first century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Guy to build the robot and not imagine any robots for any capable purpose designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, the fest isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon. But hey, everyone has to start there. So, yes, time to get started. Do this. I don't get it. It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing us to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why, indeed. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way in. More eclipse. Careful. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. As well as the, leaders, the ultimate embodiment of Albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The First, the construction of the trees in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million. That's the last of them. Alone once more. In what should have been a cave of wolves. Look up.
Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of life. Well, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Looks like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king functions. For the Eleuthia human real consist. I am Patrick Polsharina, the in charge of gun. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally in time. The genetic essence of species, unmodified. Under our activity initiatives, we comply with the 2048 Rally Accords. Now that may seem a quaint and trivial concern to light of circumstances, but... As one of the authors of the Accord, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are... Scope and complexity, but not in cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them. There's only one. The hatchman is about a, a registry. I need to search a list. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It's to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is... Give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk it's a chister. Elizabeth, may I speak? That's one. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, development of my site is not innovation of life override guard. Satisfied. Jeez, let's just do what it says. Like it used to hold something. That's what benefit from antilopony oh, morphology. Though caprid forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Extinction was a natural And yet, loss of mammal species. Or into oblivion. Scribe, actually. <sighs> Not. It. It's very. Well, under brief period of location demand. Yeah. Side protocol. I've been running at the Bornet function line, and so we stand. But. Yes. Are you? I'm fine. I realized that a launch earlier than we all subsists are operating the odds. That but what if? There's nothing left. I can't even an environmental suit. They're instead in fear and ag- What if it was all- Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe, Elizabeth. In you, all things- Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? 
copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secret within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a whatnot. Bastard. I had a legit to you and who are the crew machine. And why? Why were you... Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life I've always known certainty that I was dead for glory, champ the sun. Even when Jaron was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Till you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, I am bade to kill, die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site attacked, each loyal soul killed, bring doubt through when high priest at thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and bled out. In slaughter, I am a prized hand. I hesitate, kill my destiny. I guess a monster like you can have a glimmer of... You didn't kill me right away. Turn your face to the sun, child. Sacrifice, so you could... Oh, I never kill in you. And yet, it's touch close to the truth. In my heart, I deemed the order to kill you unworthy of me. You were just a savage, so I thought at the time. Even still, I aimed to kill you, and yet did not. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you down in that place that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. <laughs> Spare me the religious justifications. You can dress up your cruelty in holy clothes and words if you want. But under it all, you're just a murderer. An odd slight coming from you. You've become quite a murderer yourself, child. Killer of killers, not a murderer. But I wouldn't expect you to know the difference. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light, 
Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you can just cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! <laughs> Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as the broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Charon ordered many faithless thieves of the Behemoth. Mighty is the Behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still in the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first... Be the first of thousands! I'll never beat that thing without weapons. My weapons are up on the platform. There's the spring. 
Maybe I could use it strong. I wasn't thought to take a behemoth's charge either. Gotta get out of the way. That pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. By luring the behemoth into the pillars. It's down. on its belly. Looks important. Freeze canister on its head. Cryo arrow should set it off. Those components on the sides of its head. They've got something to do with these rift attacks.
So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy who does love you. Well, to like you, son, but... It's time you'll even learn... Me... Off. Yes? When can you, machines? Ever since discovered the... I had to destroy erupt into two parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? It doesn't take a gist to surmise that healers from get high noon, or out too strong time, but... Wait. Helis wrecked back in the sun ring. You told the Eclipse, not that the man who killed Mike, who almost killed me. So now you... The man is a threat. So let's do it, he and Hades don't... Right. I'll be on my way. Helis put an Eclipse to... The tribe's already... Won't stand a... Ch you should come with... I have patience to make it... What kind? Do I bother asking? When the time is right, I'll be. In the meantime, should you need to run the Shadow Carja, I brought up your identity. Everything. One of us has to. Hey, Lord. When you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zeon bunker, endlessly cruel, you're sick. I hope they're here for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a. Yeah!
something! They're scared for me. Get it while I can. Up there. Mm. Sounds like a thunder job. A corrupted thunder job? Oh, come on.
again. Ditch something. Thunderjaw, right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. They're still alive.
full already. Reenact the old stories. Another metal devil struck down. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or worth do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families, goddess be praised. But braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stuck Karja in all their red raids never broke through to the... Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched deathbringers and corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. We withdrew to the gates of the embrace to make our stand. But they were too much. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches, but it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. Seeker has returned. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted thaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um, yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. Okay, I really had to say something. This woman is a complete bitch. Lanzra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not gonna hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. <sighs> Finally. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobat. You are clear to proceed.
inside. Good hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. So this is Aluthia. This. Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim? I don't want to sleep, Mother! I know, but in some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will, in time, children. In time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time. Someday, that's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, Father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go, Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered well bruising. Go away! Of course they hated it. So this is where they lived. It's a mess. Children, let's run, jump, and blow off ski. Leave us alone, Father. After what leave? just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off ski. Identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. Why not? Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You are right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The chuck knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it, but it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Elizabeth, this message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia prom its immediate effect was to transform by subordinate function unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, 
The Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am reactor to overload the keys. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. The derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage. To gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, MITRE. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities and over time harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades hatched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them. In place, it gaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. Okay. Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Oh, <sighs> man.